The next topic is language in school. The language skills that children bring to the school setting are important because language is the predominant means of instructions in a wide variety of subject matters. The school language is different from the home language or a language which is spoken at home or in playgrounds and therefore it is important to look at the dynamics of school language. Byram and Thurman based on the competence model proposed by Byram and a framework proposed by Thurman the following domains have been identified as far as the school language is concerned. One is language internal that is basically mastery of vocabulary and grammar. Then we have literacy that has more to do with the learning. Then we have interaction that focuses on the interpersonal communication skills. Then we have learning which is content related and the presentation which are the explanatory skills. So these are the domains that have been identified which are very specific to school language. Again we will look at this phenomena with regard to the research that has been done in this particular area. Now the classroom environment contains basically wealth of verbal interaction that has been explored by sociolinguists, psycholinguists and educational researchers. It has been observed that language of the classroom is decontextualized. Now in most communicative situation outside formal education there is a close relationship between the utterance of conversational participants and the immediate context. This is known as contextualized. So decontextualized is that it is separate from the contextualized environment. One form of discourse that enables teacher to assess student learning is the initiation reply evaluation sequence in which a teacher poses a question to a student, receives a reply and then evaluates the student's answer. Children are unlikely to have much experience with this type of discourse outside the school. Researchers have all examined how children use requests for information and action during group reading assignments. So for the language which is spoken at school, children requ require specific classroom skills that need to be acquired. Now the studies conducted by Wilson, Clevenger and Jolengen, first grade children read aloud or silently in groups and then completed a workbook drew pictures or otherwise demonstrated their understanding of what they read. Now this was the study which was conducted by these researchers where they made these students read aloud or maybe silently in their groups and drew pictures or otherwise demonstrated their understanding. Now as the teacher moved from group to group around the room, opportunities arose for students to ask each other for assistance. Wilkinson and colleagues found that requests were often accompanied by justification of why the request was made. For example, if the child has asked a question, he has also provided the justification. In a sentence, can I use your eraser for a minute Sandy? I made a boo-boo. So a question was asked and a justification was also given. Wilkinson and Calculator also found individual differences in peer group interaction. Those children found to be the most effective speakers whose responses were direct, sincere, relevant to task at hand and addressed to a specific listener. Moreover, Teachers' interactions with students are related to 
teachers' perceptions of students' communication skills. Several studies have shown that students perceived as higher in communicative competence gain the floor more often. Now, Sherry found that teachers tended to request more information from those they considered to be high in communication skills. To conclude, the linguistic skills needed for success in formal schooling differ from those that children have acquired during their preschool years. Classroom discourse requires students to learn the rules of the game and children's academic success is related to how well they have learned these communicating sessions.